Hello, in today's video, I will be showing you how you can bin off your SkyQ router and use your own one of your choosing. It's really simple, it's really straightforward, but first, roll titles! Hello, I'm Kip from KipHakes.tv and if you're a SkyQ user, you might have a SkyQ router and uh, they're all right, they do the job, but um, there are better routers out there. So uh, I've got one and this is it. This is the TP-Link AC2100 and it serves as a replacement to the SkyQ router. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna get this out of the box get it set up and I'm going to show you step by step how you can use this instead of the SkyQ router and show you how to unlock slightly faster internet and a whole new world of functions. So uh, yeah, let's go over to the table and get it unboxed. Now it's important that if you are looking at replacing your router, you have to get a modem router. There are Wi-Fi routers and there are modem routers and basically this takes over the entire job that the SkyQ router does. Um, yeah, and a Wi-Fi router is just purely for handling Wi-Fi. And because you can't put the SkyQ router into a modem mode, means you can't really use the Wi-Fi routers effectively. So it's best to get a modem router. So uh, let's get this one quickly out of the box and get it set up. So what do we have in here? I've just got some uh, standard information sheets. We've got the uh, AC adapter, which uh, provides you with a 12 volt, at 1.5 amps and 18 watts. So pretty standard 12 volt connector there. Okay, so we have got a uh, filter there. So you plug that into your phone socket and then you plug your phone into there and you plug your new router into there. Uh, unless you are like mine and you've got a faceplate that already separates the two. And then we have got the uh, router cable. Pretty standard stuff. Doesn't look like a particularly long one. Um, I'd say that's probably about a meter. Let's double check. Yeah, that's that's tiny, teeny tiny. I would say, yeah, that's about a meter. So uh, that might do for your installation. It's not gonna do for mine because there's at least two meters between the phone socket and where the router goes. Okay. Actually, I'll tell you what, let's get this out. So we've got a Wi-Fi information card um, the GNU general public license notice. We've got a quick installation guide that might come in handy. We've got a, a very short uh, Cat5 or Cat6 cable. That's a Cat5e cable. So that might come in handy. And then we have got these, which are the antennae. So, uh, and the spare rubber band. I didn't see where that came from. Okay, so uh, let's get this out. Okay, here it is. I mean, you know, looks nice. Let's uh, peel this off. Oh, not a, not a nice clean peel, unfortunately. There we go. So it's got some mounting uh, slots there so you can mount it up like that and uh, what we got on the back so we've got three antennae connections we have got the DSL slash VDSL connection and we have got four uh, gigabyte LAN sockets we've got the power connector and we've got the uh, reset and then uh, yeah on the side here we've got a USB port 
We've got a WLAN button, <laughs> a WPS button, and the power button. And I believe you can put a, a 3G or 4G dongle into here and uh, have a uh, fallback onto a 3G or 4G network, which is quite handy. Um, might look at possibility of that. So uh, yeah, we'll get the antennae out. I did see uh, quite a few reviews of this mentioning that the antennae were quite flimsy, but doesn't seem to be the case. Yeah. There we go, they can just uh, fold up like that. So yeah, it's quite a nice, neat looking unit. I mean, obviously it looks different to the uh, SkyQ router that it's going to replace, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Although this does look like a fingerprint magnet already. So uh, I guess the next job is to get it plugged in and get it set up. So uh, let's go and do that. Okay, so it's all plugged in. What we need to do now is get it configured. So we need to go to a web browser window and go to 192.168.1.1. And straight away, it's asking for a new admin password. So uh, we'll set one. So this is just the password to get into the router and configure it. This isn't what your Wi-Fi password will be. This is just merely an admin password for the router. So uh, hopefully that's typed correctly in both boxes. Okay, so we've got to select our region. United Kingdom. And we're in Greenwich Mean Time. Next, okay. Ah, this is good. So we are with Sky uh, VDSL. Um, okay, I think it's MER VDSL. There's two Sky VDSLs. I'm pretty certain it's MER. We'll see. Okay, so now we need to enter the username and password, and uh, this is what it is. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, at Sky DSL, and uh, there's the password there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, A, B, C, D, E, F. And uh, hopefully that'll work. So uh, it's asking us about Smart Connect. Now Smart Connect allows uh, mobile devices to connect to the best um, Wi-Fi band that provides the fastest speed. So of course we're going to do that. Um, and there are the uh, default um, network IDs, um, but we're gonna change those. So uh, I don't really want you seeing all my details, so I'm just gonna blur it out. So it's gonna do a connection test and uh, I'm using a wired connection at the moment. The wire is going from the router straight into this computer. So uh, we'll just do next. Let's see if it works. So we're just testing the internet connection. Boom, we're connected to the internet. That was really straightforward. Got our IP address, all looks good. Perfect, okay. And then uh, we just click finish, excellent. So we're connected to the internet and uh, yeah, it's, it's found everything. What I am going to do is change the IP address of the router because it is by standard 192.168.1.1, um, but um, I like it 0.1. I know, I'm weird. So uh, let's see if we can find how to do that. Oh, this is interesting. See, it's showing that um, the maximum upload rate is nine meg and the maximum, the downstream can go 
is 65, but uh, Sky have got it limited to just under 40, which is very interesting. Right, okay, so let's see if we can uh, change this IP address. There we go, LAN settings. Okay, so we'll just swap that over to uh, 0 0.1, and we'll, uh, okay, done it automatically. So yeah, we'll save it and we'll reboot now. Now, something that's really handy about this is the ability to add a guest network. So I think I'm gonna add, set one of those up. Now, a guest network is something that you could give essentially guests to your house so they can log in and use the internet but not have full access to everything. And uh, I think I'm gonna set one up just to use when I'm filming videos. So it doesn't matter if you see the uh, network name and the, uh, the SSID when I log in. Now in theory, because I've used the same network names as before, everything should just work as normal. So everything should be able to connect to the internet as before and I won't have to re-enter the same details, although some devices might need it. So it's really quite straightforward to set up a different router and uh, use Sky fiber with it. You know, it's been pretty straightforward, I think you'll agree. Right, because we have uh, reset the router and its IP address, the default gateway has changed. So even though the router's back online, this computer has still got an old IP address. So we'll just disable the network connection and then re-enable it, and that should renew the IP address. And so now we can connect to that and we're in. So if I just uh, type in the password, we're in, excellent. So, uh, so let's set up a little uh, guest network, shall we? And we'll just call it that. And uh, yeah, we want to set a password. There we go. We have got a guest network. Call the 5G one that one. There we go. Boom. So as you'll notice, you can uh, make it so what you can set what the people on the guest network can see. So guests are allowed to see each other, but they're not allowed to access my local network or uh, USB storage sharing either. So that's good. I mean, there is a lot of stuff in this router. There's so much more stuff than the generic Sky router. There's a lot to see it's ju it's just it's just working that's it's it's that simple you know we haven't had to do anything too technical or too difficult and it just works you know we're we're connected perfectly to sky so that's great um so yeah let me just uh make sure we can access important things on the internet we definitely can yeah it all works and uh it seems to be okay. So, um, hmm. we just got to get everything back plugged in into the back of the router. So that is, that is really it. Um, I hope this video has been of help to you. Any questions or any comments, or if you get stuck or anything, then just put a comment below and I'll try my best to help you. Um, but in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya!